Let's have a look at a really common mistake in physics. Anytime we connect an object to two springs at the same time, things can get a little bit counterintuitive. In this problem, we have a two kilogram mass that is connected to one spring with this spring constant on the left and another one on the right with double the spring constant. We displace the object by four centimeters to the left and then we let it oscillate and perform simple harmonic motion. How do we find the maximum speed of the object? It is far easier to tackle this problem in terms of energy. Now, when we compress one spring, we extend the other. So this means that the system will have double the potential energy, i.e. the total potential energy will be equal to a half times the first spring constant, let's call that K1, times the compression of the first spring, let's call that X squared, plus a half times the spring constant two times the extension of the second spring. Remember, if this one is compressed by four centimeters, this one will be extended by the same amount. Giving us a grand total of 0.012 joules. All of this potential energy from the extension from the equilibrium will get converted to kinetic energy once the system passes through the equilibrium. So we can set that equal to the kinetic energy. We can set 0.012 joules to be equal to a half mv squared. Now the mass is just two kilograms multiplied by the speed squared. Those two will cancel. So therefore the maximum speed will just be given by the square root of this number. And that's going to give me around 0.1 meters per second. This here is actually question 48 from my physics workbook that covers the entire specification and it will really help you get an excellent understanding of the subject. Additionally, this month I'll be doing a physics online revision session. You can check the links in the description for both of these. I will be going through some really common mistakes in physics and this is precisely why you should have a look at this video next so that you avoid doing that in the exams. 